Welcome to How China Media Broadcast Channel. We upload every single day about the real social things happen in China. Come to subscribe and join us. Hong Kong has already reported cases of Omicron, while the Chinese mainland has not reported any cases of the variant. Health authorities are on high alert. Studies have shown that some mutations may enhance the binding of spike proteins to ACE2, further promoting virus infection and transmission. Two mutations in nucleocapsid proteins have been shown to likely enhance viral replication. Recent data of epidemiology in South Africa suggests that Omicron transmits very fast. It is difficult to judge whether Omicron will surpass Delta as a new major variant strain based on the current data. But it deserves high attention. Chinese experts say it requires adequate data and more weeks of research to get a concrete understanding of Omicron, and China is scientifically prepared to address the threat. The sensitivity and specificity of the mainstream nucleic acid detection reagents in China have not changed, and it can cope with imported Omicron mutant strain. In terms of technical reserve and research. China is prepared to tackle Omicron. This includes inactivated protein and vector vaccines. While some countries are rushing to add travel restrictions, China has made no big shift in policy so far. Health authorities say China will stick to its anti-pandemic strategies of preventing imported cases and domestic spread, and to minimize the potential impact of the new variants. Officials say they will strengthen the epidemiological and genomic surveillance of imported cases. We will speed up the vaccination of seniors and children aged three to seventeen, and strengthen immunization among key groups. The Chinese mainland has fully vaccinated more than 1.1 billion people. But officials say China still has some 50 million people over 60 who haven't received the jabs, and they remain a vulnerable group. Feng Yilei, CGTN, Beijing.